Innovation and development across industry is vital for economic growth in the UK. The Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council funds research and training to build the knowledge and skills base required to facilitate this. Well, the research helps not only to generate prosperity and improve lives, but also inspires future generations. We sent our reporter to find out how. The Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council invests over £800 million a year into research in engineering and physical sciences like mathematics, materials science and information technology, helping to increase the UK's productivity and growth. EPSRC is critical in helping to deliver the aspirations of the industrial strategy. EPS researchers here in the UK lead the world in manipulating atoms, data, energy, numbers, and you need that if you're going to transform existing sectors or indeed if you're going to build wholly new industries and new sectors. Uh, British universities are the creme de la creme of the world and, and that's because I think uh, the way we do research in British universities uh, is unique. That's our strength and so what we need to do is to make sure that we are able to exploit that in the future. No matter what you do, if you are not competitive, you will lose out. In 1980, Lord Bhattacharya founded the Warwick Manufacturing Group to translate academic research into tangible businesses. Today, it's one of the world's leading applied research centers. This is Warwick Manufacturing Group's main engineering hall here at the University of Warwick and it's one of the places where EPSRC invests in a wide range of science and engineering projects, projects which are quite literally at the cutting edge of technology. Like turning waste vegetable oil into a sustainable material. Here we purify and chemically modify the oil and then we produce bio-based polymers like this one that can be used as an alternative to epoxy fiberglass, for example. Through investing in expertise like this, EPSRC is helping to build businesses and power industries. We have some very clear examples of where EPSRC funded research has made a, a significant difference. For example, we had a £1 million project here at WMG with Airbus that resulted in a £10 million per year savings on wing assembly. EPSRC nurtures scientists and engineers throughout their careers. EPSRC is seen as a, a kite mark of quality and the funding they provide allows us to attract the best students in the world, have great opportunities to travel, to, to build their careers, but it's also very flexible. So if they want to go off into industry uh, at the end of their, their qualification, they can do. If they want to stay in academia, they can do. There's all different mechanisms that we can use uh, flexibly to enable them to do that. EPSRC is helping me by funding my project and promoting the collaboration between university and industry. This is very important because in this way we can introduce innovation to the industry by tapping into skills of high caliber research staff and world-leading facilities. Here at the University of Birmingham, EPSRC funded quantum physicists research the minuscule, fundamental science for emerging technologies. We are building sensors which look into the brain with magnetic signals to help diagnose uh, like dementia, channel uh, concentration deficits and other conditions. We're dreaming of getting gravity sensors into space to look for global groundwater distribution and help millions of starving families and children by better irrigation policies. EPSRC has been absolutely instrumental in setting up this whole exercise because EPSRC provides a broad funding based purely on excellence. We get the world's best nano uh, engineers to build our laser systems. Uh, we get the best physicists to put these together into uh, world-leading sensors and we get the applied engineers who look, uh, civil engineers who look into the ground or neuroscientists who look into the brain. Our vision is to make the UK the best place to uh, research, discover and innovate. And really what we're trying to do is to build the knowledge and the skills that the UK needs in the future. Mm -hmm.